Hi from Timor Leste. You know, we often get excited with the new, right? New year, new season, new things. And the assumption is new equals good. But I recently read through the book of Joshua and Judges again and it hit me that new wasn't always good. After Joshua's generation had passed, a new generation arose who repeatedly failed to drive out the inhabitants of the promised land. And why? Because they neglected the covenant of old, God's covenant made with the generations who had gone before them. It was a new generation that forgot the amazing things that he had done. They didn't treasure the promises of old. They didn't follow through on his commands. Instead, they abandoned him and turned from him and turned to idols. And when I read this, I saw two critical calls from Judges 2. To return to the Lord, to turn away from our idols, repent and witness how the Lord rescues us in his compassion. And the second is to remember the old. You know, in each season, it can be tempting to assume that the best is yet to be. And I confess that as a young person, I'm excited about new things, new dreams, new visions. But I ask myself, will I have the humility to first look back and to see the fruition of the old, to champion the dreams that God has placed in the generations before me and to be faithful to live by His promises? In Isaiah 43 verse 19, it says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. My job isn't to seek out the new thing. The new thing is His doing. The new thing belongs to the Lord. And in a world that clamors to be the first, to be the leaders, to be the pioneers, I ask myself, will I be satisfied if I weren't the catalyst or the cause of transformation, but simply a part of it? Our task is to remember to return to the Lord and remember the promises of old, just as the Israelites did at Gilgal. So rather than seeking out something new, I want to be faithful to cling onto God's promises, to live in simple obedience and see the fulfillment of the old. And in doing so, we will witness a new thing because the Lord will make a way. Joshua didn't step into leadership to seek out a new vision, a new land. He persevered in leading the people into the same vision, the same land that the Lord had promised through Moses. You know, next year in 2024, the Love Timor vision turns 20 years old. The call went out in 2004 for the church to adopt this nation as our own, to send out missionaries to love East Timor. And it was a bold vision for the church to love our neighbour, Asia's youngest and poorest nation, to see her transformed by the love of Christ. I arrived in Timor just last year, a new missionary stepping into a 20-year-old vision. Inspired by many who have sown into this land, we now see churches in every district and disciples in various spheres of society. And I asked the Lord, God, what's next? The word I received was this, there is more. And we are not done yet. The vision is no longer new, but as we remember the old things, the Lord will do a new thing. I recently met a 75-year-old Timorese man living in this village in the rural mountains of Timor. He can't read, he can't write, but yet he yearns for God's word. He prayed for years for the Lord to send pastors or missionaries that he might hear his word, and the Lord answered him. Now he listens intensely to every sermon and immediately goes into these villages and shares all that he has learned. He has a heart that's burning to make disciples. So 20 years on, let's not forget Timor. We are not done yet. The harvest is not only ripe, but the harvest force awaits. Pray into a season of witnessing disciple makers to come from this nation. The late Pastor Rick Stewart shared in 2018 that Singapore is called to challenge other cities and nations to be Antiochs. And if our call is to be an Antioch or Antiochs, until Timor herself becomes a sending nation, we are not done yet. Lord, will we be found faithful. Help us to return to you to remember the old as you do a new and eternal thing to bring salvation to the nations. Amen.